Well, all right. Let's clear H10-1 with the high-end AFK strategy. Um, it's not fully, fully AFK because in the middle you have to activate um, three skills to, yeah, to burst the boss. But the rest, yeah, is totally AFK. Anyways, the squad is, is like this, with um, uh, the backpipe plus flag, flag vanguard startup. Uh, Madrock, second skill, Mountain, second, Ifrit, second, Nightingale, third, um, Shining, third, Telops is second, um, how is it called? Uh, here, I will explain later, uh, Aya, second skill, and the sword to melt the boss. Plus the two slots, because yeah, just use the support unit as well to make this run easier, is up to you guys. You can pick whoever you want to melt the boss easier, to heal maybe more, etc, um, etc. Et so, here, instead of an uh, NTR, you can use uh, any guard with a high amount of HP. So, someone who can survive to the boss, actually, like stalling the boss. The first phase, at least. So, uh, yeah, Skadi, those type of operators, uh, Arts Guard, um, etc, etc. So, yeah, up to you. And, um, yeah, you will see in the game. So, just, just don't use a defender, because if you use a defender, that defender will tank the, yeah, the cannons. Unless you deploy the defender earlier, but uh, anyways, better if you use a guard with some damage. And uh, that's it. Let's do this. So let me show you, at least you will know. I will also make another version, which is with the manual trigger skills, which uh, will make the run a lot easier instead of AFK1. So anyway, let's just do this first. Immediately flag vanguard to start, then a backpipe here to kill the first few enemies. Mountain here to defend the upside. Skill. Now, if you're using near first skill, just to deploy already now to charge the skill. Near first skill is really strong, guys, for who doesn't know. Because can, uh, yeah, a lot of attack buff and attack speed buff. Also, herself uh, already have a lot of attack and HP. Okay, then uh, Tilus is here to charge the, I mean, to help uh, Vanguard to charge the skill faster. Now, Nightingale here. Mandrock here, face on right side. Get DP. Retreat uh, backpipe because he's dying. Ifrit here, now face bottom side. Okay, Manfred, when comes here, will change the target into Madrocka. So be careful. Just to use... Uh, not yet. Just use the doll somewhere to bait the hits. But at least now Manfred will not attack Madrock anymore. The cannon will shoot, killing all those um, cre reborn creation, also stunning Manfred. Now deploy another medic here, the Shining. Get the DP, and in the end, Aya here, just a strong caster, because Mountain cannot survive later to the second wave with a double caster. You can retreat the Vanguard. That's it. Now you can have Kale till uh, Manfred dies from the first phase. It's pretty simple. Now, from the... Um, this stage has a condition, which is uh, Manfred will charge the skill, the shield, faster. So instead of 30 seconds without dodge, she will, he will remain like 15, if I remember. Yeah. Anyways. Now, after this charge bar completes, uh, Manfred will die because yeah, we lose the shield and uh, Nair plus um, Ifrit will uh, kill. So just wait, he dies from the first phase. Okay, like it is. Dead. Now, the cannon will charge a lot faster for just this wave. Activate uh, this medic skill to burst the heal here. Af wait, the cannon shoots first. After the cannon shoots, they put a sword here, face on bottom side. Man now Manfred will uh, wake up. After Manfred wake up, wakes up, activate the medic, medic, and the sword skill with a bit. Around now. That's it. After you activate everything, you'll be fine. Just AFK okay, now. The cannon will hit uh, Madrock. Removing the shield, the dodge shield from Manfred, and Surtur plus Aifrit plus Nair will just melt the boss. Here we go. Now you don't have to touch anything. As you can see, it's not totally FK, but um, you have to click uh, three buttons in the middle. I mean, it's hard to FK a boss like this. <laughs> you need to do something in the middle to kill him faster. 
Because the boss is really, really dangerous. The damage is really high. By the way. Also, if your Madrock uh, has problem to survive to hand cannon hits uh, when there are creations being, uh, when there are enemies, uh, you can bring Nian from a support unit, for example. You don't need to deploy. Because if you have Nian in the squad, uh, Nian has the talent which will increase every defender's HP by 20%. So Madrock will have a lot of HP and she will be able to survive to everything. Here we go. AFK strategy. Now we'll make the other one. And yeah. 